Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton in from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to remove flyaway hairs using the spot removal tool inside of Lightroom. But first, please check out our sponsor, YM Camera, for all of your photography needs. And listen, you can go to ymcamera.com and shop there because more often than not, they are faster than Amazon. Amazon Prime. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your photographer friends. It helps us to produce more content. My friend Valerie Thomas from Valerie Thomas Photography sent me this image recently asking about flyaway hairs. I thought this image was super cute. I have not edited it yet, but I wanted to show you how I would use the spot removal tool to accomplish this. I'm going to press Q on my keyboard in order to access that tool. I'm going to make sure that I am on heal, not clone. Now the difference is this, when you heal, you copy, you paste, and you blend pixels. Cloning is simply copying and pasting those pixels. So let's zoom in. I think I'm gonna choose a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, um, we're not gonna eliminate all of these flyaways, just some of the major ones. So in order to control the size of your brush, if you press your right bracket key, the brush gets larger, and your left bracket key makes it smaller. Holding down Shift and your right bracket key increases the feather, and Shift with your left bracket key decreases the feather. You can see this via the concentric circles or the slider in the panel on the right. I'm going to make that feather around, oh, I don't know, maybe 60. And I want this brush pretty small. And I'm just going to start to brush over these hairs I want to remove. Now, in this case, Lightroom chose a very poor source. So I'm going to click and just drag this up here to grab a different source. And I'm just going to continue this process with any of these hairs that I think I might wish to remove. Oh, I see that that left a little piece right there. Did you know also that you can use the spot removal tool on top of itself, meaning you can build adjustments. So I'm gonna move this one here. And all I'm doing is clicking and dragging and sometimes moving the source if Lightroom chooses a poor source. And okay, so this is what I mean. Let's zoom in a little bit further two to one space bar in order to pan this image. So I got rid of this one hair. I probably should have grabbed both, but I didn't. And if I place my cursor near this pin, then it's going to select it. But what I can do is just click and drag from up here. And I'm essentially stacking these adjustments to make them look a little bit better. So all I'm doing again is, oh, we have some issues up here. Do you see this? This kind of halo effect that is not looking good. So that did help for sure. Let's zoom back out at one to one, grab some of these just long stray hairs. I'm letting Lightroom choose a source and I'm only moving it if that source doesn't work for me. And I'm going to grab a couple of these hairs with those funny looking adjustments. That's okay. Funny looking selections, I should say. Come over here, click and drag. And as long as everything is working appropriately with my feather and the size of the brush, I'm not going to change that. Now this works really well on images like this because she has an extremely shallow depth of field. So her background is nice and blurry and that does certainly help. If you had a background with more definition, this would be a lot harder. Here's a few hairs I missed over here. Um, now this is interesting. You can move this source to line up that background right there. That looks good. Let's jump out to fit. <laughs> Look at all those adjustments, all those pins. I'm going to press Q in order to drop that tool and look at the before and after. So again, I didn't remove all of the flyaways. I just kind of tamed them down a little bit. Let's look at a few more images and see how this can work. So she just has a few up here. Again, Q on the keyboard. I already have my brush set how I would like it. So I'm just going to begin by clicking and dragging. Now that's a poor source, but the reason it works is because we're on heel and Lightroom is blending the pixels. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to do this section in portions because I want to get rid of all of these hairs up there. So let me move that source. I see an edge to that hair. 
but it looks kind of crazy. Oh, I missed a part of it. That's okay. Again, I can stack those adjustments. I'm really trying not to be a pixel peeper here because when I zoom out, you'll see that this looks really good. Just got those hairs up there. It's really aren't any on the side that are troubling me too much. Boy, this one, I don't like the way it looks right through here. So again, I stacked those adjustments. Let's zoom out, press Q on the keyboard to drop that tool and look at the before and after there. That looks so much better. Um, you know, you have to decide if this makes sense for your photos or not, how much time you spend, how much effort, because you could get a little bit crazy here in terms of how picky you are, or maybe you just edit one photo and if the client decides to order one of these as a really large piece of wall art, maybe you go in and do this or you gauge if it's an issue for them. I'm a big believer in the minimum effective dose, you know, what's necessary and what's overkill. This is going to depend on your style and how, how you feel about the time that you take to remove these stray hairs. I just wanted to give you the tools and the options to do so. This was part of a paid professional shoot. It's adorable. There is certainly a chance that the mom would love to order a photo like this and maybe put it out by the pool because it's really fun. So I'm just going to remove some of those stray hairs. Let's do one more. Isn't she adorable? Q in the keyboard, zooming in, space bar to pan, and I'm just going to get rid of a few of these that I find a little bit distracting. Though again, not a huge deal. Zoom back out and look at the before and after, just a few of them. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.